This is the Casio G7900 G-Shock. Um, this is the white version, obviously. And have a quick look around. So you got the there's plastic buttons. Two on that side. Two on that side. And you've got the dedicated like button there, the G button. And you got four, four plastic screws for, well, just for show really. It acts as a extra protection there. And you got the wings on the back. And this is a screw down, screw down case back with the four screws. And you've got a silver, there's a silver buckle with, I don't know if you can see this, it's got Casio China stamped on the back. Uh, I'll just put it on my wrist just so you can see. Very comfortable watch. So there it is on my wrist. I'll quickly go through the functions. So what do we have? Well, first off, there is two uh, 1,000 hour stopwatches. Um, this, this screen here is dedicated to the stopwatches. You've got stopwatch one and stopwatch two on the bottom. So we've got a moon, moon phase, top left there. And we've got a tide graph. And obviously we've got the hours, minutes, seconds, the month and the date. And at the top there, the day of the week. Um, so if I go through the functions, what do we have? First off, we have moon phase. So if we can go through the different days that's the moon phase then we have hit the adjust button the tide graph and we can go through different portions of the day to see what the tide's doing like so and if you want to see a different day, you have to go into the moon phase and scroll through to a different day. And you can go forwards or you can go backwards. So, tide, so you can go, if you want to see the, see the tide for the 14th of the 1st, then you can scroll through each hour of the day so next function we have the stopwatch like I said 1000 hour stopwatch so currently the stopwatch has been running for 520 hours 27 minutes and 40 seconds uh, next we have stopwatch 2 which is currently not running and if you notice at the bottom there it's still showing the current time and then we have a countdown timer so we just press the start 24 hour countdown timer counting down from 24 hours so uh, to stop reset or and we've got if I hit the adjust button set for one minute and we got a repeat countdown timer repeat timer So I might put that going. No. So 
it's on repeat now, so it will keep repeating uh, indefinitely. I'll just let that let that go for a minute, just to see. It will continuously keep counting. <coughs> yeah, so very durable watch. Um, it also says up there. Uh, low temperature LCD which uh, the screen it's used to um, low, t low temperatures it's also 200 meters uh, water resistant which is normal for G-Shocks uh, coming down to the last two seconds and I'll just keep repeating like that so we stop that, reset, hit the adjust button, next we have alarms. Now, five alarms on this, uh, multifunction alarms I should say. Now what do I mean by multifunction alarms? Well, if I press to set an alarm, as soon as you press adjust the alarm, a little flag comes up, a little flag comes up there to say the alarm is on. Alarm one, in there, flags up, and set the alarm let's say morning 11 now by multifunction I mean now you see the hyphens flashing at the bottom there now so let's show in the month which is January, the first month. So now, if I set that now, it'll go off every day for the month of January. Now, if I move on and put so now it'll go off. Uh, every year on the 8th of January. This is very, uh, now if I go back, so now with just the date, which is the 8th, it'll go off on the 8th of every month. So, and each and every alarm is like that. So if I push, every alarm is like that, they're all like it. Alarm two, all multifunction. Alarm three, alarm four. The signal, she got hourly time signal. So, snooze. Let's go to the hourly time signal. I think it's the adjust mm -hmm. button. So now there's a flag there. Flag there to say that the hourly time signal is on. And to switch it off again, mm -hmm. just hit the adjust button to switch it off. And now we have world time. So there's 48 cities and 29 time zones. And to scroll through the different cities in the bottom left, you can go forwards and backwards, like so. And the next mode 
to back to time mode. And I've also got 12 and 24 hour format. So to change that, you just hit the bottom right hand button momentarily. Momentarily. And you see the PM there. And to go back, press the bottom right hand button. And we have auto auto light oh flash alert we have flash alert so to turn the flash alert on you see see the light I'll turn the light off you can see it see it better so the flash alert is now on while holding the button Flash alert is now off. And on again, you just saw, saw the light flash there. I'll just put the light back on. So what that means is, when you set a, so basically when an alarm goes off or a countdown timer finishes, I'll just demonstrate it the flash alert backlight will flash so if I just uh, switch the light off again knock the camera over if I just switch the light off you see the flash so yeah, very durable watch, as G-Shocks are. Uh, I picked this up on eBay as used, paid £32, which I thought was a good deal. Um, there's no scratches, no marks on it. I think it was used about three times. So, bit of a bargain. I think, I think if you buy it new on eBay, it's about 75 quid, something like that. There's the flash alert coming up. I'll put the light back on again. So yeah. So what else have we got? So to turn the flash alert off, you press the bottom button. And this is a regular battery watch. There's no, there's no um, solar atomic or solar or atomic. So press and hold. Turn the flash alert off. Oh, it's in the timekeeping mode. Gotta go into timekeeping mode. There, the flash alert is off. And for button muting, so to mute the buttons, the button muting is already on. But to change that, to switch it off, press and hold the mode button. And the flag at the bottom there, that was there. It's now gone. So to turn it off again, turn it off, press and hold. And the flag is there to say that the buttons have been muted. So anything else? Oh, auto backlight. So it's got an auto backlight. Let's go back to timekeeping. Back to timekeeping. There it is. So auto EL will be a flag there. When I there, you can see the flag. So now when you tilt your wrist.
and then you just see the light coming on there as you tilt your wrist. <clears throat> and to turn it off again. There. So I keep that function turned off to save the battery. It's a CR 2020, 20, 25 battery, which is a 10 year battery. But the battery life is two to three years, but uh, Casio seem to underestimate their battery life. I have seen online that these batteries will last roughly between six to seven years possibly more depending on how much you use the um, backlight and the flash alert function so yeah so that's my quick look at the Casio G7900 uh, I did say the module, the module number is 3194 so you can go online and look at instructions so and it's got <clears throat> oh that's one thing I forgot if I press the adjust button there you see the symbol at the top that symbol there shows the the backlight so the duration for the backlight at the moment is set for three seconds you can change that to five seconds by pushing the top right hand button and there you see now the backlight is set for five seconds uh, press it again and back to three seconds now you can only do this in the um, setting screen so you know I think that's about it uh, this is for the moon phase and the tide graph to set the this is setting the uh, longitude for the area which you could, which you live in so it can be done to your specific area all you need to do is look online to see your um, longitude um, say you got the dedicated light button there so so that's a three second afterglow. Three to five seconds. Not many um, uh, Casio watches got three to five seconds. It's usually 1.5 or three seconds. So that's an extra bonus. So anyway, that's my review of the Casio G7900. So Please subscribe to my channel for more watches and thanks for watching.